The OTC 2890 lumbosacral support with abdominal uplift provides firm support and stabilization for muscles and ligaments to aid in relief of low back pain and discomfort. Most lumbosacral supports are sized according to hip circumference midway between the crest of the hip bone, the ilium, and the greater trochanter. The trochanter is where the leg joins the hip. To locate, have the patient flex the hip and knee. The bony prominence of the greater trochanter can be easily felt where the hip flexes. Take a firm hip circumference measurement between that point and the crest of the ilium, making sure that the tape is not twisted and that it is level or parallel to the floor. Once size is determined, remove the selected garment from its carton. Unfasten all closures and open the garment to its fullest extent. Have the patient turn and position the garment against his back so that the stay casings are parallel to and equidistant from the spine and that the bottom edge is approximately at the level of the trochanters. Then wrap the garment around in front and fasten snugly, making sure that the right side goes over the left. This ensures that the garment is not on upside down. Make sure as you're doing this, as shown here, that the cinch straps are dangling and not even loosely attached to the garment. Next, loosely attach the cinch straps in front to keep them out of the way during the next step of the fitting process. The garment features flexible stays built into the casings to allow for moderate support. However, if firm support is necessary, rigid stays are included with the garment but should only be fit if the patient has a prescription specifying them. Take each stay, place it against the casing on either side of the spine, and shape it directly to the patient's back with the use of the stay bending tool available from OTC. It is recommended that the left stay be shaped first, followed by the right stay. Usually, only two stays are prescribed, and if the garment has four casings, the stays should be inserted in the center pair of casings. Sometimes the physician will prescribe the use of four stays in cases where maximum support is required or if the patient is larger than average. To save time, we are showing the shaping of a single stay, but all of the stays must be shaped individually. The stay bender should be used with leverage, almost like a pair of pliers, in order to accomplish shaping of the individual stays. There is a small hole in each stay that serves as a reference point for the top. After it has been shaped, each stay should be marked with an indelible pen like a Sharpie. The mark should be made at the top of the outside of the stay, the side away from the body. This is because the stays must be removed from their casings when the garment is laundered. By marking them, the patient is sure to return them to the correct casing. The stays can be marked L or R if there are only two, or one, two, three, four, if there are four. Note that there is a small pocket or overlap of material at the top of each stay casing. After the stay has been inserted into the casing, it should be pushed up from the bottom, so the top rests inside the pocket and is thus prevented from working its way out. Be sure to demonstrate this procedure to the patient, not only how to correctly insert the stay, but also how to remove it before laundering the garment. Once the stays have been inserted properly into their casings and the patient has been shown how to insert and remove them, the garment is reapplied as has been already shown. Check that the stay casings are parallel to and equidistant from the spine, that the bottom of the support is at the level of the greater trochanters, the garment is firmly attached in front, and is snugly worn. The final step of this process is to firmly attach the encircling straps by first attaching the left side and then overlapping it with the right. These straps provide additional uplift support to the lower abdomen and back. After the garment has been fit, have the patient sit in a chair to be sure that this can be done comfortably. The brace will typically ride up a little bit, especially over clothing. This is normal. You want to make sure that the rigid stays don't dig into the lower back or the shoulder blades and that overall the garment feels supportive and is comfortable to wear. Be sure to go over the laundering and care instructions that are found on the back panel of the product carton. If the patient has no questions or concerns, the fitting is complete.